Hello, it's Matt from RetroOnly.com. Today we will be talking about how to fix a banned Nintendo Switch. Gaming is something that many people enjoy doing on a regular basis. It is an important part of many people's lives, simply because gaming is a lot of fun to do by yourself or with friends. Nintendo is one of the most trusted names in the industry, and many people enjoy using their different systems. But, what if you find that your Nintendo Switch, or the Switch that you just bought, is banned? Is there a way to fix this issue? How do you fix a banned Nintendo Switch? There are a few different steps that you can take to try and get your Switch unbanned. Some of the most popular methods are File a complaint Make a new account if only the account has been banned Get a new console Replace the motherboard Or use it offline Each of these methods may or may not work in your situation So starting with the first one and working your way through is the best way to go for most people We will discuss each of the methods mentioned in more detail next how to fix your Nintendo Switch that is banned. A banned Switch can be really annoying as you may lose access to many different things. The worst part is that you won't be able to enjoy online games at all, and you also won't be able to access the eShop either. Also, it can be really annoying as you may lose all the money you have spent on any online games or other things that you have purchased online to advance in a game. Having your Switch get banned is of course not something that anyone wants to experience, but if your Switch has been banned then all hope is not lost, yet. The methods below are some things that you can do once your Switch gets banned to hopefully fix the issue, or if nothing else to know what you can do with your device now. Number 1. File a complaint. If you think that you haven't done anything that is worth banning your console, then you can simply contact the helpline provided by Nintendo. They will help you out in the best possible way, but first it is important to know why you were banned. Check out the error code being shown on your screen and search it on Nintendo's site or Google. That should give you all the details about how you were violating their community guidelines. Even if you realize that you actually did violate the community standards, it still might be worthwhile to contact Nintendo and see if there is anything that can be done. If you're upfront about the issue, and it was an honest mistake on your part, you might get someone who will fix the issue for you. It isn't a sure thing, but it certainly can work, so it's worth a try. Number 2. Make a new account. Making a new account will only help if the account has been banned, but it won't help you if the console itself is banned. Nintendo has begun banning consoles because people would just create a new account and go back to not following the rules again. So this might or might not work depending on the type of ban that you have received. You can simply create a new account, and if it was the account that was banned, then you can get back to playing like normal. It is important to know why the account was banned in the first place, so that way it doesn't happen again. Make sure to figure that out immediately, as repeated account bans can quickly turn into full console bans. 3. Replace the motherboard. This isn't something that most people should try, as it is easy to damage the console quite easily if you don't know what you were doing. You can often buy motherboards online for the Switch that you can then swap out for the one that's in your banned console. After swapping out the motherboard, you can create a new account and use your Switch like you did before. Replacing the motherboard is something that should only be done as a last resort, as it isn't simple to do and for most people, it is better to just move on and get a new console, which we'll discuss next. Number 4. Get a new console. If the Nintendo customer support are not willing to unban your console, then there are not many options left. Chances are there must have been something that you or someone with access to your console did that caused this permanent ban. Assuming that you don't have the technical know-how to replace the motherboard mentioned above, then buying a new console is likely the last option that you have. You might just have to buy a new console, make a new account, and then you can enjoy the games like you did before the ban. Of course, going this route isn't very cheap, but you can also sell the ban switch on eBay or local for sale groups to try and recoup a little bit of the cost for the new switch you purchased. Remember, when selling the console, to be completely clear about it being banned, so that way the person you are selling it to knows exactly what they are buying. 
Number five, use it offline. The last option that you have is to keep the band switched and use it solely offline. I know this isn't something that many gamers are used to doing, but you can actually play games solely offline, and many people, myself included, grew up gaming without any online capabilities at all. Of course, this limits the fun that you can have, and will often mean that you cannot update your Switch either, which might mean some brand new games won't even work. But if you don't know how to replace the motherboard, and don't have the money to buy an entirely new console, then this is probably your best option. Reasons for getting banned Sometimes, it can be quite difficult to know why you got banned in the first place. You may wake up in the morning and find your console banned. It can obviously be quite annoying, especially when you weren't doing anything recently. It is important to realize that most bans take a few days or weeks to go into effect, so it probably wasn't something that you did a few hours ago that caused the ban. Next, we will give a few of the reasons which may lead to your console being banned. It is important that you avoid doing any of these to keep your new console from being banned in the future as well. Number one, using vulgar content. If you bought, downloaded, or are using a vulgar image as your display picture during a game, there are high chances of your account or console being blocked or banned. Nintendo is a huge platform used by people of all ages, and it is important that such content stays away from children. If you are found using such content, then it is likely that you will at a minimum have your account banned, and at worst, have the console banned entirely. All players must make sure to keep the adult content to themselves, so that the environment is suitable for all the users out there. Vulgar content can also be foul or derogatory language, and many people have reported being banned for cursing or using slurs while playing online. Number two, hacking. Hacking is something completely intolerable to Nintendo. If someone is found using the hacked version of a game, it will be an immediate ban for your console. Nintendo has a system which is capable of identifying pirated games, and it can even identify if there is pirating software on the device. If you are trying to use your console as an emulator or something like that, then it is extremely likely to get permabanned. 3. Other Reasons there may be other reasons too, such as using a stolen debit slash credit card or filing a chargeback for a game that you purchased online, as well as many other reasons. It is completely up to Nintendo to decide whether to ban you or not when you are in violation of their terms of service. If you feel like you have been unjustly banned, then go back to step one and contact Nintendo's support team. Finally, a Nintendo Switch is a video game console which was launched by Nintendo a few years ago. It received a lot of appreciation worldwide and has many fans too. It is famous because of its amazing features and many great games. If you are someone who hasn't tried it yet, then wow, you have missed something quite amazing. A banned Nintendo Switch doesn't allow you to have access to online games. You can enjoy local multiplayer, as that doesn't require the use of online services but nothing on Nintendo's servers will be allowed. There are a few different types of bans that are done by Nintendo, like piracy related and more. And you may still be able to access the eShop in some cases, but it depends on the type of ban that has been applied to your Switch. There are many different reasons why a Switch can be banned, as mentioned previously, but Nintendo has been less than transparent with exact reason for bans and how far you can go before they implement a ban. Sometimes unreasonable bans can be removed, but it is always better to try and follow the rules and not do anything that will get you banned in the first place. Ultimately, it is up to you, the player, to ensure that you don't get banned by practicing good self-control and not doing any of the things mentioned that will get you banned. This has been Matt from RetroOnly.com.